Okay, so yesterday I posted this picture on the Parrot Bebop Facebook user group forum thing and a few people asked me how can you fit an iPad on a Mad Cat's controller? It doesn't fit. No, it doesn't, which is why I'm doing this little video tutorial on how I've adapted my controller, the bits I've used to make a cheap, low cost, cheap, low cost, it's the same thing, a low cost Sky controller. I haven't tested the range or the distance because I just haven't had a chance yet. But from the feedback on the forums and the repeater that people are recommending, this is one of the best. So, without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So, there are a few things you are going to need. One, and I've left it in the car. I'll be right back. One, a Mad Cat controller. This is, this thing will focus. Ah, oh, it's not gonna focus. This is the Mad Cat Control CTRL. It's the larger one of the two. Basically, I ordered the, the first one and I were quite large hands and I just couldn't get on with it. So that one went back, this one came, and this is one we got. So one, an iPad or tablet, a Netgear PR2000 travel router or N300 travel router, whatever you want to call it. A cheap iPad case. This cost me a pound from Pound World or Poundland. I'm, I'm not sure which one is which. One of those. Some adhesive stickers. A USB power pack. And if I'm honest with you, this is probably too strong. This is heavy duty stick on Velcro. You probably could just get away with some double sided sticky Velcro and it'll do the same job. So once you've got all that, just to quickly add up, this was £38 from Amazon Germany because it was slightly cheaper than Amazon.co.uk. I think this was £24 from Amazon.co.uk. This was £10 from Tesco's. It's not the best purely because there's no LED light on it, so I don't know what the status is of the battery power, so I don't know if it's going to die. As I said, that was a pound. I think they were like a pound and they were about three pounds. So, in comparison with the Sky, Troller, Sky Controller, which I think is around £300, you're saving quite a bit. You don't get the same functionality, but I wanted something mobile, something simple that allowed me to get a range if I needed it, but also stay mobile without the big, massive <laughs> Sky Controller thing, which is also expensive for what it is, because if I was spending that kind of money, you're talking DJI Phantom range, and in all honesty, as much as I love this, it is not a phantom. The quality is nowhere near, but the bit I love about this, it's light, it's portable, it's robust, and it is so much fun. It's unbelievable. But anyway, let's get to the main part and build up the Sky Controller. Anyway. Fun. So, 
we have the, as I said, the Netgear adapter, which will be used as the range extender. We have a cheap iPad mini case. I haven't actually checked if this is for iPad mini. I'm hoping it is because it did say works works with iPad so it doesn't say what iPad but it works with an iPad I don't know whether that model number refers to something anyway that's what we've got so let's see firstly if this fits with a bit of luck and it fits yay right now the next bit this will take probably an iphone 6 plus something a little bigger but it won't as you already know take a ipad mini so by simply doing that fits in it fits in extremely tight we have now got a mounting surface to mount this to so the next step is take your industrial sized sticky pads sticky velcro thingies put that over there now my thinking behind this is if I use these sticky pads I can potentially use different devices so I don't have to always take the iPad for example I could get a cheap case for my iPhone and use the iPhone because that will also fit nicely on there and you can still you, you've got the best of both worlds so if you've got ultra mobile use or if you want a bigger screen you use the iPad so we need a cutting mechanism preferably a scissors and I didn't bring a scissors so we have a scissors now I'm cutting mine into smaller strips. You could if you wanted cover pretty much the entire side of the device. I think because these are classed as heavy duty, I think no matter where you put them, it's not going anyway. It's just I just, well, it's up to you. So I'm going to cut these smaller strips. So let's do the adhesive. Yeah, we'll do. I. There will be better ways of doing this, so please don't take this as the exact and best way of doing something, because it's not. It's far from it. And it well, you don't even have to use these if you don't. The original one I used, or the, what was shown in the photo, was using these permanent sticky fixers and it did just a good job it's just i wanted the ability to change devices change over things and if i wanted put like i said an iphone on instead of a i'm sure i had how how, how can i just lose something in that short space of time Hmm. Anyway, okay. 
so they roll on. Now, as I said, this is industrial Velcro. Or oh, heavy duty Velcro, sorry. So it is extremely tough. Probably a bit too tough. But it's all I could get at short notice. So line this up pretty much put that there and we now have a sky controller like I said it's pretty tough and pretty a little bit overkill like that the weakest point is this this is could do with a bit being a bit stronger just so it doesn't make this as floppy but for when you're using it it's fine you can use it it's no issues at all the final bit then is sticking this to access those. I guess it doesn't really matter where you stick it because, ah oh man, it went over there, didn't it? But um, I would recommend getting a, if you are going to get a small one of these, I've used Anker battery packs or power banks or whatever they're called and I've never had a problem with them. They're fantastic bits of kit, well made and they last. But this then you can just stick. I suppose you could stick it wherever you really wanted to put it. I've got to be careful what I'm saying with it, but... If I put it there, and then we can run a cable. And we have Sky Controller kind of thing. So what you end up with is one of these which isn't the best solution but it works boot the mad cards up I will boot the ah shut up Wi-Fi free flight Give drone a name. No. And then... I don't actually know if I've got this registered with this one. Bob, Wi-Fi. Bebop. Connect. Come on. Are we connected? Free flight settings, and we're done. And it turns out you don't actually need these. So, the list of all the parts used will be in the description below, and any links to any sites where I've bought things from. I'll also put a link into the anchor.
Ooh, that could have been dangerous. Uh, let me just turn this off. Never do that. That's, that's just stupidity. <laughs> that was <laughs> close. Anyway, but this, as you can see, is tough. So, you probably need something less industrial. to use to make your life easier and make sure that you put the adhesive things the right way on so they're all matching so so learn from my mistakes never turn a drone on when it's sat next to you and always put sticky pads on the right way around But as I was saying, I put the link into the Anchor one of these because they're the same price, much better, and not a cheap Tesco piece of <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that this has been of some use to at least one person. And yeah, I'll try and do some more videos. I've got the Bebop backpack I need to, to put online because bought it it's great but for personal reasons it's not for me so if you need to find out why just let me know in the comments and hopefully i'll put a video up soon thanks for watching bye